He is the law. That was the worst Stallone impression ever. Or the best. Hey, what's up, my peoples? M. Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the fans project, Mad Law. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Uh, your typical Function X packaging that we've come to know and love there, with pictures of each of his alt modes. That's one, two, that's three, that's four, five, and six, and just a little you know, shot of the side of his face. Warning! And don't let the numbers zero through three make your child sad. Don't let it, don't let it. But I'm going to sad onions. I don't care! I don't care about no sad onions. Everybody else calls it sad onions. Well, I'm not everybody else. I'm Emgo. Nice to meet you. So, moving right along, here we have Madlaw. And uh, he is Fans Project's take on uh, G1 Quick Switch, the uh, Six Changer. Uh, the Autobot Six Changer. And um, yeah. Pretty cool toy. Uh, pretty, pretty cool toy. Now, if you're wondering where the name Mad Law comes from, it's because each letter of his name is the first letter of each of his alt modes, because each alt mode is individually named. So, that's where he got the name from. Kind of clever. So, yeah, here he is in his first alt mode, which is the uh, Wood Runner. So, this is the Wood Runner mode, which is basically a wolf mode. And uh, it's, it's, I mean, none of these modes are really strong, except for the robot mode. Um, all these modes are not totally successful, but here he is in his wolf mode. You can see, getting close here on the wolf head. Pretty cool, he does have, he has four eyes, which is weird. He does have little ears that you can move up and down. He can open and close his mouth. Um, he actually does have a little bit of side-to-side uh, -side movement, just to the way all those joints work, so he can move his head from side to side. Uh, the front legs can rotate, there's no outward movement. You get a swivel here, a bend, um, you can move his paws up and down. Uh, the rear legs, you can use the robot mode hips here to get some good range of movement, as well as the thigh swivel in there you can use for some range of movement, as well as this joint right here. Uh, the leg itself can only move forward, and you can pivot the paw up and down. And I'm assuming this is supposed to be his tail, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. There you have the wood runner mode. Now he does want to stand properly. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? So there you have that. And just for a comparison, here he is with Fence Project's Weird Wolf. So you can see how they scale together. See, he's quite a bit larger than... They're weird wolf. So there you have that for a comparison. Uh, here it is with their not chrome dome, the repro labeled version of their not chrome dome. Just again for that sense of scale. And here it is with Combiner Wars Voyager Prime. Again, just for a sense of scale there. So there you have that. Now the instructions tell you to leave these guns rotated down like this. I personally like to rotate them up because I think that looks better, so that's the way I do it. I just think it looks better, so there you have that. He does come with weapons. He does have these two guns right here, which you can compact into a nice, neat little package right here. They're just cast in red plastic, and you just fold the handle down. And you can have it as a short pistol, or you can take the barrel and extend it into a longer gun, which is pretty cool. And you can do that with both, obviously. So, there he has his two guns, and the guns can store on all of the modes. Uh, storage for this mode is to flip the handles up, and there are these tabs right here that will just go into these grooves right here in the guns. Let me just take them and just, you know, just tap them in there, and they do hold. Right there. They do hold very securely. So... There you have that way to store the weapons. There are also these ports on the, the main body of the robot right here. And these are actually used for, for boat mode, but you can use them in woodrunner mode if you want. 
You can see they do sit. They're made so they um, so they sit at an angle like that. So you could display them that way if you wish. Also, totally up to you. I mean, it does have these ports on the sides as well, so you can plug them in up here. These ports don't really work too well. They're pretty floppy, floppy, and don't really don't really hold all that well. So you can, you really can't use those for anything. Um, nothing all that useful anyway. So. He has his two guns. He also has two bigger guns, and these are meant to represent the guns that the G1 toy has. And as you can see, they are way, way bigger. <laughs> but, again, you could display him with these if you want. You can use these ports back here and have him with these two giant guns on his back. Sure, why not? Dare I say why not? Here, it gives him, kind of gives him wings, too. Sure. Hey, you can do it. You can plug him into the sides also. Do whatever you want. Your toy, do whatever you want. So there you go. So let's get down to some transformations, plural, because we got a lot to go through. And uh, I do have the instructions next to me because I want to make sure I don't forget anything because this is a lot to remember. So let's get right down to it. So again, we're starting with the wood runner mode, and now we are going to the air strike mode. And to do that, you're just going to fill down his ears, close up his mouth. It's going to open this up right here. Let me raise the camera because I know I know I know I'm gonna need room to operate here. So you just want to undo that. You're gonna take this piece right here and bring it around like that. You're going to take these pieces here and rotate them at the thigh swivel. And you want to rotate these around so they're outward like that. And then just clip all this together right here like that. Take the beast legs, straighten them out, bring them to the side of the body. You want to rotate this whole assembly 180 like that. You want to just bring these out like that and you want to make some room for this. You want to take this bit right here and bring this all the way back. A little bit of clearance here. Just bring that back like that. And once you've done that you're going to take the, uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay. You're going to take the legs, bring them up like this, rotate them around. You're going to rotate the leg at the swivel here, straighten out that paw, fold this up, and this tab right here will go right into the, the, uh, hand right there. Close that up, and then you can bring this down and rotate this whole assembly downward like that. And then you take this piece, bring that up, flip out the wing, and there you have that side all done. Second verse, same as the first, just take that, bring it up, bring that around, rotate this, bring that up, fold it in, bring that back down, bring this whole assembly around, fold that up, fold that out, flare that out, make sure everything's where it's supposed to be, I think it is. And there you go. Let me just refer to the instructions again just to make sure I did this right. I believe I did. Yes! So here we have the airstrike mode. And this is basically a jet mode. Again, not completely successful. It kind of sort of works. It's a, it's, a, it's a thing with wings. Okay. Sure. Sure. <laughs> now the guns you can take and store them right back here. So these ports back here, and you can compress them if you want, totally up to you. You can take the bigger guns and plug them back here if you want. Again, totally up to you how you want to display it. So, there you go. There is the airstrike mode. with Not symmetrical wings there. There we go. <laughs> so, yeah. It's a weird mode, but okay. Sure. Sure. I can work with that. Okay. Sure. <laughs> so there you have that. So moving right along, now we're going to go into the laser shot mode. And to do that, you're going to... What am I going to do? I don't know. Okay. You're going to flip these wings back in. Bring this back out. Flip that in. Bring that out. You're going to... What are you going to do? You're going to bring this up so you have room here to flip this back down like that. You're going to rotate this section back up, bring it all back, 
bring that up, bring it back. You're going to tab these sections back together like you're going back to wolf mode. So tab that together, and then you're going to bring this assembly down right here. Oops, now with the legs, you don't want to bring the legs with it. You just want to bring that assembly down like that, and then you take these sections right here, and you just rotate them up like that, and rotate that up like that. And once you've done that, take these legs, bring them out to the sides, split all this. Uh, you want to rotate at the hip, so it is like that. Take this section right here, bring it up, bring these sections out, and then tab it all back together. Like that. And on these guns, there are little slots right here that'll tab into these tabs right there. So just swing those around and just tab that in. Swing that around, tab it in. Make sure everything's squeezed together real good. There you go. Take the beast legs and just bring them back up. And then you can take these guns again. You can leave them extended. You can compress them again totally up to you, but you do have to flip up the handle, flip up the handle, and there are little rails right here, and you want to make sure they're facing this way with the handle pointed down, and uh, this post sticking outward, and then you just take that and just slide that in, right there, slide the other one in, and then the last touch is you just bring down this little panel right here to make a trigger. And there you go, there is the laser shot mode, right there. So you have a little sight, a little double barreled gun, also some extra barrels on the sides too. And there you go, you even got a trigger. The trigger isn't, you know, spring loaded or anything, it's just there for show, just something to give you, you know, give you something to rest your finger on. So yeah, a little laser gun mode, pretty cool. And you can take these big guns here, you can probably stick them back there, it's pretty much the only place you can stick them. Because um, again, if you plug them in here, they're kind of floppy floppy, so that doesn't really work. Unless you can, you know, maybe thicken this. You don't want to thicken this up, you don't want to thicken this post up. You want to try to thicken maybe the inside of this port here, to have it hold. But, other than that, there's no other place to really plug it in. Not, you can't really do anything there, so. There you go, laser gun mode. Laser shot, rather. Pew pew. Bang bang. Nice little size pistol there. So, there you go. So, moving on to the next mode. What are we doing? What are we doing? We're doing the dirt driller. That's the next mode. So, take the guns. Pull them out. Ah, uh, what am I doing? I have to look at the instructions. <laughs> so, dirt driller mode. We're going to take this assembly, bring this back up where it was. Make sure that gets all the way up, right there, and just split this, take all this, split that, bring this back down, bring that back down, and you're going to rotate, and rotate, like that, tab all this back together, and then we're going to bring these, whoops, no, you don't want to bring these back out yet, because these are in the way. You want to bring these down, so you can bring that down. Rotate it, so you can bring that down. And actually you want to take these and just rotate them all the way around right here. That's where you want them. Right there. And you can just bring this down most of the way, just so you have clearance here. And you take the drill, bring that back down, and just close it up. Right there. And bring that panel back down. And you'll see these two tabs right here are going to tab into these two ports right there. So just line all that up and that will tab in right there. Secure that in place. You want to take these guns, just rotate them and flip them back in like that. You want to hold on to the foot too because that will sometimes bring the foot with it. So hold on to the foot while you're doing that and just rotate those back in. Take the paws, just flip those in like that. And we'll just leave that out there for now. Uh, with these bits, you just want to take it, bring it out like that, so the tread is facing down. Extend the arm. Take this panel right here and rotate it up like that. 
The instructions don't tell you to do this, but I think this is just a happy accident. And there is a, a, uh, a tab right there, and it does fit into this little port right here, which is actually just a hinge for the, for the uh, wolf mode jaw, but it actually lines up perfectly. You do kind of have to uh, angle the paw up a bit just to clear that tab, but it does tab in there. I mean, the instructions don't say to do that, but I don't know if that's a happy accident or it is intended and they just forgot to put that in the instructions, but either way, there's a way to secure it. So I need to take that and bring that against the body like that. So that can be the same as the first. Just take that, extend, rotate that up like that. Raise up that paw a little bit, tab that in right there, right there, right there, do it! There we go. And then just tab that into the side of the body, like that. Now the instructions tell you to leave this piece like that, and I don't like the way that looks. I personally bring it up because it just, you know, kind of fills that back out a little bit and kind of gives it like a tail light or something, so I like it better like that. But there you have it! There you have the dirt driller mode which is just a little little drill tank and that works it's kind of cute <laughs> it's kind of like animated blitz wings little tank mode it's just a little compressed little cute thing so we have that now the drill doesn't spin or anything it's it's just uh held in place but still there you go little drill tank and of course you can store the weapons on this mode as well you can plug them into the the robot mode fists because they're right there. And that's how the instructions tell you to do it. Just plug them into those fists right there. If you wish, you could also plug them into the ports up here. You can use, you know, these big guns if you want. Again, totally up to you how you want to display it. You can also use those big guns. Here you could, you know, it's not it's not such a problem that it's loose because they do just kind of sit there. So do that if you wish. Again, totally up to you how you want to display it. Isn't that right, motorcycle man who just zoomed by my house? I don't know if you heard that, but... <laughs> it was loud where I was sitting. But anyway. We'll remove these guns, and what are we going to now? We are going to Aqua Force! That's right, Aqua Force, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We're getting intense now, it's Aqua Force. Anyway, just want to bring these out slightly... And uh, what are we going to do here? We're going to untab this section right here. We're going to open this up and just swing this down like that. We're going to straighten out this bit right here. And you'll see there are two tabs on either side here. And they will tab into the sides of the hips right here. So get that lined up. That will tab in there. And that will tab into that side. And then you just tab everything else in. Like that. Now you got that pretty much done. And then you can take these side panels here and this tab will tab into the slot right there. So just tab that in. And line that up. Tab it in. And there you have that. Uh, the arms, you're going to take this panel here, rotate it down. And then just fold it up. <coughs> Excuse me. Fold that up. Rotate it. Like that. And then take it and swing this underneath like that. Second verse, same as the first. Take that, bring it down, fold that up, and, oops, that came undone. Rotate it, swing it down, tap that back in. And then you're going to take the robot mode feet right here, and you're just going to bring them up, rotate them, and bring them all the way back like that, so everything is flat down here. Bring that around, bring that around. Bring that up level with everything else. And there you go. There you have the Aqua Force mode, which is just kind of like an armored armored boat thing. It kind of works. Sure. Sure. Why not? Why not? And you can use those ports right in here for displaying the guns. And it's cool how they kind of sit at a bit of an angle there. So... There you go. And again, you can have the guns compressed, extended, however you wish. And you can also use the big guns, if you want. Right there. <laughs> it's only up to you. How armed do you want this thing to be? 
And there also is a port right up top, just one single port. You can take the gun and just kind of plug that right up top if you want. Just have one giant cannon on top, or just have, you know, one smaller gun up top. Again, totally up to you how you want to display it. So, there you have that. And the last mode is Master V, which is the robot mode. So let's get right down to it. So you're going to take these sections, bring them up, untab this right here. Just to get that out of the way. And then we will untab this. Take the section, bring it down, bring it down, bring the leg down, bring up the foot and rotate it. And there you got a leg all done. Second verse, same as the first. Just bring that leg down, bring the foot up, rotate, and there you go. Take this piece and just bring it to the back, like that. And we got him standing up. And we got to raise the camera a bit, because he is kind of tall. So there we go. So now you're just going to take these assemblies right here, rotate it so the wing is facing back. Like that, bring the arm down, unfold, take this piece, rotate it forward. You're going to open up this panel right here and just push the foot out and just bring the paw in. Like that, close that back up. There you have an arm, second verse, same as the first. Bring that down, bring that down, open that up, flip out the hand, flip in the paw. Close that back up. Open up the uh, the drill bit right here. Oops. Open. We're open. There we go. Open that up, and just bring that down flat against the back like that. These bits right here, I just take them and angle them out like that. And then you flip flip down this panel right here. Flip out the head. Close that up. Plug in the head. Oop. Oh, rotate that. And there you go. There you have Master V, the robot mode for Mad Law. And uh, yeah, I like the robot mode. I really dig the robot mode. I really like this design. Very, very cool. Really, really do like that. Uh, getting close here on the head sculpt. It's a very nice head sculpt. He does have that transclearant visor right there. You can lift the visor up. There is a lever right there. So you can just pull that up if you want to see those baby blue eyes right there but I prefer the visor down I think it looks cooler that way but nice sculpt and overall just a very very nice design with very nice details very cool and it it works it definitely works for me and uh, yeah considering he goes through six modes I mean it's a very clean transformation he doesn't have a lot of junk hanging off of him it it, it works it works very very well now, um, articulation-wise, his head is on a ball joint, so we can get all mad law on ya. His arms can do a full 360. They are, it, it is a ratchet joint, but it's a very, very soft ratchet joint. There are very soft detents in there, but it is a ratchet joint. You do, you do have outward movement, although he kind of knocks himself in the head with his own shoulder, but you do get full outward movements. You do get a bicep swivel. You do get... Nice range of movement there on the elbows. Uh, nothing at the wrist, unfortunately, due to transformation. He does have a waist joint. Legs can go forward, they can go back. You only get that much outward movement. You do get a thigh swivel. You do get nice full range of movement there at the knee. And the foot is on this hinge right here, as well as a ball joint right here. So He is pretty poseable as well. Get them standing. Yeah, and you can use the uh, the beast mode paws here. Use those as heel spurs because that's basically what they're supposed to be to uh, help him stand to stabilize him a bit. There we go. There you have that. Of course, he can hold his weapons if you want. He can hold the small guns. He can hold the giant guns. Totally up to you. One cool thing is he does have storage in robot mode for the smaller guns. You can, hey, mad law. He was so mad about the law, he just had to fall over. He's like, I can't take it anymore. Jesus, take me now. I don't know. <laughs> but you can compress the guns up. Like that, compress it up. And there are these two, you can see they're angled tabs. 
on the guns there, the angled tabs, and you take them and you plug them into those slots on his hips and they will sit at an angle like that. I think that's pretty cool. Like that. And you can actually still, you know, leave them fully uh, extended if you want. Totally up to you. I mean, they'll, they'll still store just fine, even fully extended, if you want. But that's cool. They can just kind of like you can just collapse them up, and they just, you know, store neatly on him. So I dig that. I dig that very much. And now we'll get him holding his giant guns here. Why not? Dare I say why? There we go. There you go. Well, it is giant guns. <laughs> He's pretty cool. I, I I do quite like him. Now for comparison. Here he is with some other Function X dudes. Here he is with their with their Chrome Dome. Here he is with their Weird Wolf. Right there. You can see he's definitely way bigger. And here he is with their mind wipe. We just got repro labeled. <laughs> so, there you have that. Uh, here he is with Combiner Wars Voyager Prime. So, you can see how he scales with the current Voyagers. You can see he's a little bit taller than a current Voyager. And here he is with Terminus Hexatron, his fellow Six Changer here. You can see how they scale together. That's Terminus Hexatron with the uh, with the chrome bits they put out for him. That little add-on little add-on kit there they put out for him. And uh, what else? What else? Uh, oh yeah, here he is with uh, Combiner Wars Ironhide. Just so you can see how he scales with a uh, with a deluxe class figure, a current deluxe figure. So there you have that. And uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but anyway, uh, Madlaw, very, very cool figure. I love the robot mode. Um, you know, I mean, fans project, I mean, I make no bones about fans projects. I love fans project. I, these people know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. They do it well. Um, and this is very ambitious to do a... Uh, a transformer with six modes and uh, you know while not all the modes are completely successful they still manage to get it to work at least somehow so I still give them kudos for that I love the robot mode he's a very very cool robot um, looks good a, a nice updated quick switch if you've been looking for one I think this is definitely one that is worthy of being on your shelf it's very cool very nicely done I mean it's fans project, so you know it's good quality, good solid construction. So, you know, nothing to be worried about here. Just a nice solid figure, and I really, really dig it. So, if you would like a mad law of your own or any of fans projects other offerings, you can also you can check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my third-party playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say, so there is the Fans Project Mad Law, and this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Pull me in your face! <laughs> What are you doing? Have mercy! You're probably wondering, did he fire 127 shots or 126? Well, you gotta ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do ya? Punk! Blah, you spit on me, man! I kept count, it was 126. Blah! Thanks a lot. We couldn't have stopped him without your help. It's alright.
It's what I do. But we didn't even get your name. My name? The name is Madlaw. John Madlaw. John Madlaw, coming this fall to a network that doesn't exist.